What up, guys? Jason Guyman here with PressureWashHelp.com, king of pressure washing. And tonight, we're going to talk a little bit about what are you going to make in 2022? And what do you need to do to be able to make that? And what are some things that you can do to help you achieve your goals? So I know I'd posted a couple places out here and I'll post it again here. Um, if you haven't already, um, if you could, I hope this is right. Um, I've, no, it ain't going there anyway. Um, if you haven't yet, um, I've done a survey um, to see kind of just where everybody is at. And if you could answer those questions, I would appreciate it very much. I know a lot of you have already filled this out for me, and I thank you very much. Um, and I will be getting more of the information out once it comes out. I will. I posted a link already to the comments, so it should be up there. Um, and if you don't, I will post it a couple times here um, as we go through here. But again, this is just me trying to get data to see kind of where people are at and how, you know, where, you know, what I've found, which, you know, um, I think I've had 136, uh, 136 comments or 130 entries already. So I appreciate all that. I don't even think I do have a new mic and some new stuff here. And if you could allow, let me know how the sound's going, I would appreciate that too. If everybody is, if I'm sounding all right and not too crazy. Um, so what are some things, how much do you want to make in 2022? Put in the comments below, down below here of how much you want to do in 2022, um, is what is your goal for 2022? Please put in the, the comments down below. I would appreciate it very much. Um, what up? Good evening, Jason and everyone in the pressure wash community. Merry Christmas from ACE. Um, good evening, gents from MTH. Pink Robin is in the house. Um, Zerny, how are you doing? Uh, let's see who else we got in here. Mr. George Yost is in the house. Um, uh, Big George is in the house. We got Big Big Rob. Um, mine too. Um, same as it was for the last 20. Um, oh, that stinks. But F bomb. Um, hope everyone had a great Christmas. So put in the comments then below, what is sounds perfect? Awesome. Thank you. Um, so George is at 75,000, uh, is crystal. Awesome. 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 A hundred thousand, um, 50,000, 200,000. Awesome. 80,000 part time. Um, just got three months of post scheduled running low on ideas. Any suggestions? Um, yeah. Um, I actually went over this pretty in depth on the, um, in my marketing Monday, um, this past week, marketing Monday, I went over what to schedule out in that. Um, and I did forget one part of the puzzle. Um, I forgot how to give you some more ideas and I obviously, um, I use Jarvis. If you want to check it out, pressurewashup.com slash Jarvis, it'll give you 10,000 words. Um, but, um, a good place to get some more questions, stuff like that. If you go to answer the public.com, answer the public.com, I believe it is, or answer the public.org. I don't know which one it is. Um, if you, if you're a paying member, you get three per, if you're not a paying member, a paying person in answer the public, you get three, um, things and there you can get a lot of questions about different things for that. So with between answer the public and going to Jarvis and doing the two, you can get a lot of, um, kind of help you get some more ideas to do that. And also, you know, think about, you know, the, the month, you know, when we're talking about, um, April, Obviously, it's April flowers, you know, spring. Um, we're going to talk about spring specials and, you know, springs around the corner and all of that kind of stuff. And 
You know, we get into Memorial Day, and went, now we can talk about Memorial Day the week or two before. Of what's Memorial Day about, and all of that kind of thing. So those are some things that you can talk about <clears throat> in doing for your uh, your post. You know, Fourth of July. Are you getting ready for Fourth of July? Stuff like that. Um, just some ideas. Seventy-five thousand from Big Rob. Got a hundred thousand. 50,000 while full time rolling out Christmas, out rolling out business number two, year two. Awesome. Um, 50,000 while working, 85,000. So that's awesome. 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 So, how do we get to our goals? We set goals. How do we get to the goals? Oh, snap. I had to reload the page. Um, 60,000 part time, uh, 70,000. Good. I love these goals. Twenty thousand part time. Um, awesome. Eighty degrees here today. Yeah, it's not, it was actually pretty nice here in uh, um, out here. It was like 55, 56 degrees. So <clears throat> let's hit. Let's talk about what we need to do to be able to hit our goals. First off, we need to set goals because if we don't set a goal, we can't break down to where we need to go at. Um, if we don't have a plan to say, hey, I want to do $100,000. Okay, what do I need to do to make $100,000? And so some things that I found interesting um, through the survey of people that I've found um, are the people that have, um, you know, that spent money on education and how far they've gone. People that spend money on marketing and where they're at once they're on outside of marketing. And so just as I'm using this data to show how people, where they are successful versus the ones that I wouldn't say aren't successful, but aren't as making as much money, um, all have a relationship with certain things. For instance, the, um, the average person um, is, um, the average person that, um, that did an, the annual income is, you know, 36, 27%, 36 people have made a hundred to $250,000. Now, when I go look at those 36 people and I compare some of the things that they've done, that is what makes me know that they're successful. So the people that have done a hundred to two hundred fifty thousand dollars have um, they have um, they have an average ticket of higher than five hundred dollars. The people that are less than that have a lesser ticket than five hundred dollars. The people that are over a hundred thousand dollars have a lower average click through rate or have an average um, job close. Well, what does that tell me? That's because they have a higher price, which that is going to drop their lower ticket. But in the end, they're making more money because they have a higher price ticket. So those are some things. Um, and then the other thing that I found out interesting that the people over a hundred thousand dollars of spending marketing, what did they spend in marketing? Um, you know, we have, a lot of people have thirty one percent spent one to five thousand dollars, but we've had eight people spend twenty thousand dollars plus. So just think about that. Somebody spending twenty thousand dollars, but those are the people above a hundred to two hundred and fifty or even more. Um, so that there is some coal things that colorate. Co can't even think of the word I'm trying to think of. Correlate between people that are making more money. Yes, they're spending more money, but they're also going to have more money coming into themselves by doing that. And so, definitely some things to look at. And when we can set, when we consider, how do we get to that higher range? How do we get there? You know, and a lot of it is going to come down to marketing. You know, I preach this all the time, and I see it all the time. Of people want to go for the equipment, and they love the equipment, and I love equipment too. But to be honest, I would be selling you all short if I just sold you on equipment. If I just told you this equipment's going to make you all this money, I would be lying to you. I wouldn't. I want you to be able to hit those things um, to grow your business. 
I'm hoping to hit uh, $75,000, what breaks down to $495 a day, so $500. So one job, two jobs of an average ticket of you know, $300, $400, $400, which you should be able to get, is going to get you to that $75,000. You know, And that is why I do the... Um, the breakdown of why you can, how you can get to a hundred thousand dollars, how you can get to, um, you know, where you need to go at. And so, you know, you, if you can do a ten thousand dollar month, and it's possible, that's only twenty five hundred dollars a week. If you do ten thousand dollars ten months out of the year, that's a hundred thousand dollars. So twenty five hundred dollars a week. $500 a day, if we can just get an average ticket of $300, which I'm hoping that I'm teaching you how to grow your business, not just getting the $300 house wash, but how we can get the, the package. We can do a package so we can get the house wash, the window cleaned, the, the driveway cleaning, the deck cleaned, um, the roof cleaned. And now we got a $1,500 average ticket versus just a $300 average ticket. Um, you only need 1.6 jobs per day to be able to do $10,000 a month. Um, and so if you have an average ticket of $300, that's only 33 jobs a month to hit $10,000. So those are some things. Now, if you wanna do $100,000 in eight months, because not everybody's gonna be able to work January, February, December, and maybe um, November. So most typical places, now if you're in the South, you're in a different category, obviously. But if you're up here in the North, you're gonna have to do it in eight months. So that means you gotta hit $12,000 a month. And how do we hit twelve five a month? Well, that's $3,100 a week. That's $625 a day. So if we can do two house washes on an average of $320, $50 a piece, which that's $700, that's two houses a day. One to two houses a day, we can hit $100,000 in eight months. How do we get those eight jobs? How do we get those two jobs a day? Marketing, 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 marketing. You know, that's why on Monday nights, I push my Marketing Monday. And I want you all to be there too because I push it so hard because that I know what's going to grow your business. I know all the nice bells and whistles of equipment, all the nice bells and whistles of you thinking that you can grow your business without that are things that are not going to help you. These are things that are going to make you not successful. And I want you to be successful. I want you to grow your business, get to the next level so you can change your life change the way you do the what you need to do so that you can grow your business. Um, so these are some things that you got to do. And so, you know, as they say, when the sun's shining, you got to make hay. And so with that, that is when we have to grow our business. Now, I also understand that there's some months that you are not going to make that 12-5. You, you know, sometimes July can get real tough. Sometimes August can get real tough. Now, I'm not saying that we can't move. What I always did is, is moved all my commercial work and I tried to push all my commercial work to the summer months. So then that way, my residential work is still going to be coming in, trickling in a little bit, but then I can hit those big commercial jobs. So then that way, it is going to grow it even better. I'm still promoting my marketing and doing twice a week and I start to do it more. And so, you know, we was talking about somebody up here earlier was talking about um, he had scheduled his marketing out till um, three months out already. Well, in my marketing Monday, I taught you how you can schedule all your marketing out for the next two or three months. And there's a reason why I teach you that because when you get into the, the pressure washing season and the phone starts ringing and the, the, you've got to get bids out and you've got to get jobs done and you don't know what to do because things are just falling apart and the wheels are falling off because you got to go clean these houses, but we quit marketing. So that's why I preach that this is the time of year that we start focusing and we start 
doing the things we need to do to post that stuff out. So then that way, when we get to that time of year, that's done. We're posting on our LinkedIn. We're posting on our Facebook. We're posting on our Twitter. We're posting on our Instagram. And it's just automatically posting. And we don't have to sit there and say, what am I going to post today? I don't know what I'm going to post today. What am I going to post today? What 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 do, what do I need to post? How, where do I need to post? I'm too busy for that. I don't need to do that. But if we have it all posted out, then if we post or we go live or we do some other post, then it's a bonus. Then it's, hey, I'm here giving more bonus keys to people. You know, and so that is why we want to make sure that we are going to do this and grow our business. Um, does anyone do commercial strict, um, strictly? There is some few that do a lot of that, um, but it, they're not just starting out doing commercial right out of the way. Um, so uh, where do we find Marketing Monday? It is in the membership. And if you put in um, right now, I'm having a special on this. My wife just gave it to me. If you sign up for PressureWashHelp.com or King of Pressure Washing and you put in Happy New Year in the discount code, it gives you two months free. So that is where you can find that at. Um, that's kind of where I do the one month free, but this is where I will be doing two months free. Um, so these are some things that we have to do to grow our business, get it to the next level and get it so we can hit those 25, you know, I understand. And this is what a lot of times I, I've struggled with because I'm more about that. I want to get you to a hundred thousand. I want to get you to 200,000. I want you to get to a half a million. I want you to get to a million dollars. And I, I, I see a lot of times that, um, I haven't, yep, there he is. I was just going to talk about you H2O, um, H2O messaged me and he put my goal is 200 for 2022. And I think you need to bump it up. And I had told him to bump it up to at least 250. And so that is, you know, don't just do a goal. If, if you've been in business and you did 50,000 and next year you just want to do 75 and, you know, in your full time. Don't set, you know, go to a hundred thousand. What's the worst happen? You, you come in at $76,000 and you missed your goal by, you know, 24, but you beat your 75,000 goal. And so that is something that you can do to help you get to the next level. Those are some things that will do the things that you will need to do to be able to grow your business. Um, what was I looking at? Oh, I know what I wanted to hit on. Um, so what budget year, um, what is your goal for 2022? And only 44 or 33% want it to be a hundred to $250,000. Um, and so there was, you know, 10% wanted to be 50 to $75,000. Um, and then 15 or 11% want it to be, you know, 75 to a hundred thousand dollars. And so those are some things that, you know, this is why I'm using this data so that I can see what people are doing and see how they're growing their business and what makes some people successful versus why, you know, why do people struggle? You know, there's one of the questions that I asked on here that I never, I never paid attention to this. This is something that um, I kind of had that light bulb moment. And it was actually from the BBB. Jim was there, um, Jim Du Bois or whatever. I can't think of his name. But he was talking about when we miss phone calls and what happens if we miss a phone call. So I put how many phone calls do you miss a day? And 41% put um, five to six phone calls and then seven put three to five phone calls and then um, six people put five to ten phone calls and one person put 10 plus phone calls but I'm gonna I want to hit on this so if we're missing let's just say for easy number because that's in there let's just say we're missing five phone calls a day we're missing five phone calls a day where we don't where we're busy we don't answer that phone call we don't do that. Do you know how much missing those five phone calls are costing you a day? How much do you think those five phone calls 
will be costing you a day. You know, this is something that a lot of people don't think about when we're missing phone calls. So let's just say our average close rate is 50%, so we can keep it easy. So our average close rate is 50%. So if we miss five phone calls and our average phone call and our average ticket is $500 and we missed five phone calls, that means we missed out of that five, that means we missed two and a half jobs. So that means we, we just lost $1,000 by not answering those five phone calls. $1,000 that you just lost by not answering those five phone calls. So when I say how important is it to answer your phone, is $1,000 worth you answering your phone? Or is it worth just letting it go to voicemail and you, get them, you call them back later? Because this is a now society. We want it now, dang it. And if they don't, if you don't answer your phone, they're going back on Google and they're going to the next pressure washer and see if they answer their phone. So when you don't answer that phone, just think about you're losing $1,000 by not answering that phone. $1,000. If you had five phone calls that you missed and your average ticket is $500, and your average close rate is um, um, 50%, that means you lost $1,000 by not answering that phone. So when I tell you to answer the phone, that's important. It's not just important to get business, it's important to stay in business. It's important to put money in your pocket because if you're not putting money in your pocket, then what does it matter at the end of the day? Why are you in business? Are you in business so you look pretty and drive around the pretty um, $20,000 pressure washing rig because you didn't spend no money in marketing and your phone won't ring? That's why it's important to get that phone to ring. Just as it is important to go out there and do it, to get that phone to ring, just think about that. Every time that phone rings, how much is that worth? How much is it worth every time that phone rings? So, as Greg put, answer the dang phone. It is very, very important. Um, I got three people answering the phone, including myself, my wife, and my son. And it is important. It's very, very important. Um, and it's important that we answer it. We sound professional. We, we do all the things, and that will help us grow our business. Again, it is something that I understand that can be hard sometimes, and it is something that you know we don't always want to do, but it is very important to answer our phone. I just put a link up for all the people that have came on. Um, I have a survey going, um, and you'll see more of the data coming out through my lives and stuff. I'm sure I'll be posting some of it. Um, so if you could, if you haven't filled it out, go please fill it out for me. I appreciate it very much. Um, we, I've gotten pretty good response out of it. I've got, let's see how many I got right now. Um, I think we're up to about 140 people have filled out the, um, filled it out. So I'd appreciate it if you do. So why is it important to answer the phone? So you can make the hundred thousand dollars. Why is it important to answer the phone? So you can grow your business. What, you know, answering your phone is super duper important. Um, but also text people back. Yes. And, you know, it goes back to, are you following up? And, you know, I'm going to, my plan is, is to, um, my plan is, is to, I've done the, um, I have done, I'm up to 145 responses. I have done the systems. I know I talked about this on Sunday or Thursday, and I know there wasn't a lot of people on that live. But I'm going to hit on this too. How do we grow a business? How do we get to the next level? It's all about systems. So what do I mean by systems? We need a system for when that technician or yourself pulls up to the house. You do this, 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 and this. So I have the 26 steps to the perfect house wash. And it's the system set up from the time you pull up to the job to the time you leave the job. 
Why do I have that systems in place? So that way, when if you're on the truck, you're making sure you're following all the systems. And if you put a, 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 um, an employee on the truck, they follow the systems. And when they follow the systems, it takes a lot of errors out. For instance, one is, is there a fish pond next to the house? Well, you know, there ain't always a fish pond next to the house. But when there is a fish pond next to the house, we want to make sure that we don't get one drop of bleach in that water because the fishy, they don't like that. And they go belly up. And when they go belly up, some of those fishies can cost $500, $1,000, $10,000, million. Yep, there are fishies out there that are worth a million dollars. So... That is why it is important that we put these systems in place so we don't screw up stuff. Because I don't want you screwing up stuff. Because screwing up stuff is not good. And so that is what the systems is. So next thing I'm going to put into my, um, into, my, into my membership is the systems of answering the phone. Are you following up? The customer journey is the what it's going to be. What is the customer journey? From the time they look at your website to the time that they get the job done to the time that they give you the review and then the follow-up as we go on out through the year. Because if we're not following up with these customers, then that is our problem of not growing our business. And so those are reasons why we need to follow up with these people. And so the system of the customer journey is just as important as the system of the 26 steps to the perfect house wash. Because the system of the customer journey is going to talk, it's going to be the sales, the marketing, and all the important stuff that grows your business. All the important stuff to get that $200 average ticket up. Let's see, how many people did we have in the $200 or um, average ticket of $200? There was actually quite a bit in there. Um, let's see, I think it was right here. Uh, let's see, how many people? Your average ticket of um, $200 was, you know, 16 people um, was the average ticket between two and $300. Plus another 1,800 people, 18 people, which was under $300. So we had 13, so we had 25% under an average ticket of $300. You know, I love the 16 people. That's a very small percentage of only 11% out of 150 people. Are, their average ticket is $750 to $1,000. That's where I want you to be at. I want you to be in that seven hundred to thousand dollars. I don't want you to be in that bigger percentage of uh, three hundred dollars and less. And how do we get that? All through the customer's journey. The customer's journey of how through sales and marketing is the most important thing you can do to grow your business and be successful. All right, I sent a text message and emails to all my Christmas uh, customers wishing a Merry Christmas. That's a, that is a great thing to do. Um, and that is definitely something that you should be doing to grow in your business. Those are some things that you need to be doing. Um, and, and, you know, you can even do a, a Christmas card. A Christmas card goes a long way. You'd be surprised the Christmas cards of how that will help you Get it. To all my previous upcoming customers, got a holiday card mailed to them from my company. Uh, my average ticket was 560 How you doing, Mr. Eric? Um, we got Al in the house. I haven't talked to Al in a while. Actually, I, get, I called him a while ago and gave him crap a couple weeks ago. Um, hell, I love my $10 fish. I couldn't imagine a $10,000 fish. There are fish out there that are worth $10,000. 
Um, and they are very, you know, they're, they're million dollar fish. I never forget when I got into the pressure washing business, um, I went and took a class about deck staining. Um, and his name was, his name was Charles. I don't remember his last name. And he was talking about, he was looking at this big deck and they had this huge fish pond and he was worried to death about that fish pond. And, uh, the guy's like, ah, don't worry about it. He already got the one ten thousand. The bird flew in and got the one ten thousand dollar fish. Do what? $10,000 fish. Yep. $10,000 fish. So, you know, you got to be careful with, so that you don't kill the $10,000 fish. And so that's the main important thing. Well, thanks for the super chat on here. $10. Jeremy just went and picked him up a, a truck. He uh, went down there in Ohio and picked him up a new rig, new van. Um, I took a job last week. I took a job last week for business that needed pressure washing done before they opened. I got the job from word of mouth. I had to answer my phone from a friend that called me that referred. It's so important answering your phone. It, you know, like I say, when you realize that when you're not answering the phone and every phone call that you're missing is, you know, if, if you take an average of, let's say you get 10 phone calls a day and you are only answering half, you're leaving money on the table money on the table um it is that important to be answering the phone i'm gonna scroll up here a little bit um marketing is key that is so true man marketing is the most important thing you can do marketing is one of the things that i know i push a lot and i and i try not to push it too much because a lot of times i don't get high viewership when i talk about marketing um, and they, I get a lot more higher viewership when I talk about pressure washing and equipment and all that stupid stuff, but that's not what grows your business. What grows your business is marketing, marketing, marketing. Um, marketing is definitely key. I love marketing and marketing is super duper important. I quoted a 4,000 square foot apartment fourplex at 1600. Um, and I needed to carry water, and the person said that was too expensive, not my customer. Uh, let's see. Still promoting marketing and doing it twice a week, and I'll start to do it more. If you're not do if you're not doing house wash for over three hundred at a minimum, you better off staying home or working for someone else. And you will be surprised at how many people are at two hundred dollars or even two fifty. There's a lot of people that need to get on their price raising. I was going to talk about price why you need to raise your prices, um, but I've hit on that quite a bit here recently, and I think you all probably figured that out. Um, but you really do need to raise your prices. Everything is going up. Um, equipment cost is going up. Um, bleach is going up. Gas is going up. Um, and with that, everything else is going to go up. Groceries is going up. And so that is why we need to really be raising our prices and getting them up. And you are 100% right about this. You need to be doing a $300 house wash minimum. Um, you know, the only way I'm going to be cheaper than that, I might be 250 for a one side because it's not going to take me but 15 minutes to do it. Um, but that you really got to be raising our prices. Uh, a lot of people struggle on this and this is something that, you know, it is very important to be raising our prices because if you're not raising your prices that you're, you're leaving money on the table. Um, so it is definitely something you need to do. Jason, I'm going to need you. Um, for your Google ads come February. All right. I'm going to have to update them. Um, I haven't updated them in a while and I'm going to have to update them this year. So, because they're getting ready to do away with the old ads that I had done previously. Um, I definitely did less work this year, but my revenue for the year is up 43%. Definitely contacting my first year client and asking about including gutter cleanouts. Donovan got me on the gutter cleaning bay run. Gutter clean. There's a lot of money to be made in gutter cleaning. You'd be surprised how much money is on gutter cleaning. Um, there's a lot of money to be done in gutter cleaning. So it's definitely worth doing the gutter cleaning. Does anyone strictly do commercial? Yeah, we hit on that one. 
um, just join the small business groups in my area. That's not a bad thing. Um, you know, go check out your chamber of commerce. A lot of times they'll have different little small groups for you to go and, you know, meet other business owners and, um, all of that good stuff. The more you put your name out, even in the off season, people still see you. And the more you keep posting or advertising, the more it sinks in. Absolutely. This is the time to go do those networking groups. And because you have time to go do that stuff, this is the time to go to your chamber of Congress and see what they got. And go to um, all those little things. Did 130,000 in pressure washing in eight months in 2021. My goal was 200 for 2022, but let bump it up to 250. I expect to hear a lot of other success stories too. Property. I want to be at 300,000. That'd be awesome. TCs. If I miss a call, I call them back. Uh, that's a good point. So where I was talking about, if you missing your phone calls and you don't answer your phone, that's a thousand dollars a day. That's $20,000 a month that you're leaving on the table by not answering your phone. And so it is that important to answer your phone. And you might say, Jason, you're crazy. There's no way I'm going to leave 20000 on the table. Really? If your close rate is 50% and every lead that comes in, you're not answering the phone, there's a good chance you're leaving a lot of money sitting on the table. 20000 times that by 10, a lot of money to be missing that phone number. Yep, text them back. My son complains, but he gets it done if I'm too busy. Um, I went out of state earlier this year for a week and probably missed at least 25 to 40 calls and several emails, text, emails, message. Was out of state so much I could not, I could do except line them up. But the wife is usually on top of it. Up for when I'm back in town. I took a job last week for a business that needed pressure washing done before they opened. I got the job from word of mouth. I had to answer the phone from my friend. And when you answer the phone, things happen. I've uh, been doing straight marketing for a month. Everything from reading books, watching videos, buying signs, hitting up my local mom and pop stops, and setting up my post. Busy, busy, busy. That is awesome, dude. Definitely awesome. I include stuff I should charge for and it hurts my hourly. I just about done with packages and rest removal. Mr. Al from Dayton, Ohio. Uh, <coughs> next year I will be sending out mugs with my logo. Actually, um, um, with one of the Christmas light guys, I was talking to him t this past week. He's also a sign guy. He's very, very well off. He did very well this year in the signs, and he did all right in Christmas lights. I wish he had done a little bit more in Christmas lights. Um, some of it is because he don't have the right systems in place. And so if you don't have the right systems in place, even if you do marketing, he spent five, $6,000 on marketing for Christmas lights, but his systems wasn't in place for the sales side of things and so he lost money there but talking to him he did a little um a little a nice mug it wasn't a little mug it was a nice um it was like the nice ones um and it had his logo on it had a few candy canes in it and so it was you know it is nice and it's just something that you, you're doing, it's the little things that nobody else does. And when you do the little things that nobody else does, those will set you apart. The little things will set you apart from all your competition. I really appreciate all you guys over here. This is such an amazing wealth of information to attain for the industry. As I'm getting close to 40, I understand I can detail forever aside from ceramics. 
my house, my small homes for soft wash under 1,500 square feet is 375. That's every single story house. Uh, I can't detail forever. Some people need. Um, a hose management course. Hourly rate can go from two to three hundred dollars an hour with correct setup and hose management alone. And that goes back to systems. Um, have you know that's kind of, that is in my twenty six steps to the perfect house wash of you know making sure that you are doing hose management correctly because you might not think that that five minutes here and ten minutes here and two minutes here adds up but that adds up over time and now we spend an extra hour that we need didn't need to be there didn't answer it today haha <laughs> just order two hose reels for that purpose and sometimes it's hard and i understand that and sometimes it's hard to you know especially if you're on a budget and you know you don't have the money to do it up front but those are things that get to working. So then getting jobs sold. So then that way you can get those next jobs done faster. Thanks for the super chat. I had a customer that was mad. I didn't do the fish pond. Hey, it's better than doing the fish pond and dying fish. Hit the like button. I would appreciate it. Also you rock, bro. I love your videos. I'm getting ready to do a bunch of, YouTube shorts. I'm going to try to do a bunch of YouTube shorts next year. So this year, my goal was two videos and two lives, um, a, uh, uh, two videos and two lives a week. That was my goal for the year. I pretty much hit every one of those. Um, next year's goal, I may cut down on one of my lives um, just because I'm kind of getting busy uh, and it takes a lot of my time. And I don't know what my kids are doing next week. My Sunday night live will still be here for sure. I don't know if I'll still be doing a Thursday night live. Um, and then I'm going to try to do two or three YouTube and TikTok shorts. Um, actually, I've seen you can make money off of TikTok if you're not posting there. Um, and you can run ads to TikTok. Um, I know some people in other service-based industries that are being successful with ads in TikTok. Um, and if you're in certain cities, you can definitely run TikTok ads. Um, but it is a thing that you might look at that is something that I haven't really pushed because I haven't seen the success. But I do know some people that are having success for other service-based industries for um, TikTok. Definitely need that trailer upgrade with the ladder racks on the truck. I can't haul water now for well jobs. Always see the signs say 150 to 175 for house washing around here in Atlanta. Don't worry about it, dude. You got a competitor in your area. I wouldn't call him a competitor. I'd go meet him and say, hi, friend, um, in your area that has a 10 mile radius and is doing, he did $1.5 million last year. Actually, he didn't hit his goal. He did like 1.47, I believe, um, last year. And next year, just in that little area, just doing pressure washing. And he don't do a whole, he does pressure washing, roof cleaning, and I don't even know if he does exterior window cleaning. I think he does, but I don't know if he does or not. Next year, his goal is to do $2.5 million in like a 15-mile radius in Atlanta. Now, I know that's in northern Atlanta, but that's still in Atlanta. So I don't care what people are charging. He did it, and you can too. And his average ticket is like, I think last I heard it was almost $1,100 was his average ticket. So there's definitely money to be made in Atlanta. My minimum is three seventy five. dollars I won't do anything less. My goal this year as a retired old fart school teacher is $150,000. Actually, my wife and I was talking about a conversation that <clears throat> – I'll, I'll put a thing on my, um, 
I'll put a thing on my thing that he wanted me to be his life coach and to help him grow. And there was a guy on there said, who's an adult needs a coach? That's the stupidest thing ever, our mentor. And I should have put this on there because I would be surprised that there is a correlation between the two. But, you know, I, I see a lot of people, and this goes back to the poor mindset mentality of not needing a coach. You know, if you played sports in your younger age, you had a coach your whole entire career. You could have played baseball without a coach. Why didn't you play baseball without a coach? Well, because you probably would have sucked. Why don't you play basketball without a coach? Probably because you would suck. So, you know, and and I've and I go back and forth on this, but when I grew my business, this business, the best growth I had is when I had a coach. Why? It's because he put fire under my tail. He made sure that I was holding myself accountable. Because when you start growing your own business, you don't need to have somebody holding you accountable anymore because you own your own business. But that's not always good. And a lot of times a coach can talk into your life and help you grow your business. They can help you overcome things that you wouldn't have been able to overcome or you would have procrastinated them too long. And, you know, I'm not saying that you got to go get a coach. You know, you can, I pretty much help people right here on here. But if you really want to get your business to the next level and get it there faster, it really is important to either have a coach or get more, um, and more education. You know, if you see people like Russell Brunson and very successful people like that, they will tell you, you know, the best thing you can do is go take all the courses you can take and you will be surprised at how much you will be able to grow your business. And it is important, you know, and even the coach side of things, you know, it's now is every coach a good? No, I, I won't say that, you know, Will it take maybe two or three to find a good one? Possibly. Do you need one? No, you can grow. But are you going to hit a level or a plateau? Probably. Do you, you know, there's all kinds of coaches out there. there. There's coaches out there for your health. For There's coaches out there if you want to play an instrument. There's coaches out there if you want to eat right. If there's coaches out there for life, a life coach, you know, are they out there to make money? Yeah, they're out there to make money. But if I have a business coach and it makes me grow my business 10 times faster than if I didn't, then it's worth every penny at the end of the day. So that's my little spiel on that one. What are some leadership traits that pressure washing business owners need to master in 2022? How to be a good leader. Um, how to lead people. If you want to grow and get to the next level, how to lead people, how to be a good leader and allow other people to become leaders um, and teaching them. Extreme Ownership is a great book. Um, what's the one dude that has lots of leadership books too? Uh, Maxwell. Um, I can't think of his name, uh, Maxwell. Um, another reading or podcast, um, the Craig Greg the Craig Rochelle, Rochelle, something like that. He's the um, pastor of Life Church. He does his own, he does a, a podcast on leadership. Very good podcast on leadership. Highly recommend it. Um, and he brings a lot of people talking about leadership. What's pressure washing? Only have 300 to spend on marketing a month for the moment, trying to make the most out of every penny. I would be yard sign, yard sign, yard signs is where I would be at. After taxes, 110000 Raise my prices detailing, and all it did was filter out customers I don't need and made way more. <laughs> you know, that is the truth right here. That is uh, right here. That is the clapping of hands. Um, that is definitely true of of when you raise your prices, the people that are usually the pain in the butt customers are usually the cheap people, are usually the low price people. 100% true on that one. I would agree on that 100%. Other pressure washing companies in my area, their average cost for house wash is 175 to 225. 
I know that for I've spoken to many of them. I just laugh when they asked me what I make per house. What was it? Oh, I know. I was talking to um, the Christmas light guy. And people that don't get it, man. People don't get that you can charge premium pricing. And it looked like crap. But they got it for cheap. And, and it's the same way with pressure washing. I see it all the time. People will be cheap and don't know their worth. And that's not good. I will be adding gutter cleaning this season. Hi, Jason. What percentage from income off can go to office rental? Well, if you're actually renting a place, all of it can go there. What percentage from income can go? If you're, are you talking about taxes or are you talking about um, what percentage? I think it's like 10%. Um, I don't know. But I'm going to say something on this because tomorrow night for Marketing Monday, I'm actually going to have Megan on. She's a CPA um, and she's a CPA and she's a um, a bookkeeper and she's going to go over Dan Plata's budget. Um, and so in there talks about this. I think I've seen it was either 10% or 15%. I think it was 10% is what I've seen on there. Um, and so that is that. What's this vast dot tech? Does that mean I need to ban them? I'm gonna ban them unless I'm getting tired of seeing that ban. Ban there, I ban those. Um, so tomorrow night for Marketing Monday is going to be talking about budgeting and why it's important to budget and all of that kind of stuff. And there's going to be a professional on there talking about it. So that is definitely something that I would, if you're not into, um, if you're not into it, um, go check out pressurewashup.com. You can go to King of Pressure Wash. You can either go to kingofpressurewash.com slash free and get 30 days free, or you can go there and, um, um, and put in Happy New Year, and that gives you two months free. Or you can go to pressurewashup.com slash lifetime, um, and you can get lifetime in the pressure wash help and never pay again. Um, that is probably your best deal for people. What's Jill's office cost? I don't know, Sean, to be exact. Um, they've went up. I know they went up a little bit. Um, they kind of restructured their, their business and they did go up in price, but I couldn't tell you how much it is. If you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash Jill's, um, I can get a uh, affiliate off of it. It doesn't cost you any more. It just helps me out a little bit. What up, Jason? I hope all you had a great holiday. I did have a great holiday. I'm not worried about my comp. I live in the smallest state. Um, systems matter. They do matter for sure. Yeah, those hoes get in the way. Does it cost... Does it cost for your 100 stock photos for Google My Business? I've tried finding it under website photos. Um, it's in my membership, and it's at the very bottom of marketing, I believe it is. Actually, I think it's at the very bottom of pressure washing. I see so much money around my little state. There is a lot of money. Um, no, you can't have efficiency without consistency. Should I even look for a surface cleaner if I have a 2.5 pressure washer? You're probably going to get the one at Home Depot or Lowe's for like $99 is your best option. Like the little 15-inch one. It'd be faster than wanting it if that's all you have. Congratulations, 31000 Keep it up. Yeah, my, I failed on that goal. Actually, my goal was 30000 Actually, I wanted to do 35000 and I didn't get to there this year. YouTube has kind of screwed me a little bit here at the end of the year, but that's all right. Um, buy another 2.5 machine and connect the two together, and then you got five. That is true. Posting the Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Post. Very good. Good, good, good. Jason, did you give the emails go out? No, I did not. That's tomorrow's chore. So... 
you are probably talking about wise guys. You are right. He's 26 years old. And going to do $2.5 million next year. Pick up a new Londa four-gallon a minute on Monday. That's expensive. Spend twice as much doing that, running two point better off to make money and save up and buy five and a half. I would agree. Don't don't be the ninety nine dollar guy. You won't make any money. I won't move for less than three hundred bucks, and that's for a small house or a driveway. Yep, one hundred percent agree. Agree. Clapping on that one. Um. Hey, I'm new to pressure washing. I had just got had my four gallon come in with a 20 inch surface cleaner. Um, works good so far. Work on marketing now, dude. Work on marketing, Daniel. I'm assuming you got a, a soft watt, either an X jet or a uh, downstream injector for that. So work on marketing, 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 marketing. This is time to get your marketing going. Um. That's a great place to start where you can make a living with that. Absolutely. Mr. Luke from Oklahoma. Thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up. Eight gallon a minute, 3,500, 10 gallon, four to $5,000. Yep, they are. They're pretty pricey. If you're using an X jet, what would you recommend for percentage of SH? Um, I would probably do a, I wouldn't probably put none of the little tips in it. And I would probably do, um, four to one. I would probably do 50%, um, one gallon of water to one gallon of bleach in there. In this business, I feel like Jason is a great coach. AP is a great couch. <laughs> Bobby Walker is a great coach. Um, look how successful they are. And this is true, um, very true, um, what you put here. The best leader is the best follower. Um, you know, and if you start learning more about, you know, read as many books as you can about leadership. Um, there's a bunch of them out there. Um, it's definitely something that will help you grow. What nozzle tips would you all recommend? Just got my four-gallon pressure washer. I'm come, I'm new. Um, are you talking um, about your downstream injector or are you talking about your tips in your surface cleaner? Any help on hiring your first tech or would you recommend getting a coach? Um, I'm going to need someone by spring hoping to have two full-time tech. I would go for the hiring right now um, and I would go for try to find somebody that not my, that wants to work outside, that um, doesn't mind working outside, um, that I, I wouldn't even go for the part of they know how to pressure wash because I would rather find somebody that's working at Chick-fil-A because they know great customer service and I can teach them how to pressure wash and do window cleaning. Um, overall, cost, fuel, daily, weekly, um, Daniel, I started with a four gallon, made plenty of money. Once you make about 20 grand an eight gallon machine, it will cut your time in half again. You are right. I got a four gallon machine pushing a big guy. No problem. Of course I got to walk really, really, really slow. That's the, uh, I would do a 20 inch. Um, can anyone help me get an X jet and starting pressure washing company and don't know what percentage to use of SH? Um, I would tell you to go to King of Pressure Wash and learn how to pressure wash. Um, Pressurewash.com. Um, uh, yeah, like I said up above there, John Maxwell, yeah, he talks a lot about leadership. Very good. He has about four or five books out. I think he's got a podcast out um, and definitely teaches a lot, a lot about Leadership. The book Pumpkin Plan hits on weeding out customers you don't want. Um, X Jet sucks. Not worth it. I agree on that. I would rather go with a downstream injector. Um, what do you all use for pH? Like what brand? pH? I don't know what you mean by pH. 
I'm assuming you mean SH, and there isn't really a brand. I don't know what you mean by PH. Uh, how do I get my questions answered? I'm answering them right now. You just uh, looking forward to Monday's live. It's at nine o'clock Eastern time. Hi guys, my name is Can't Sense. I run RPM LLC Routine Project Maintenance. Just I built my club car soft wash mobile on wheels this week. Looking forward to stay connected to this group in their uh, discussion. Uh, Derek, it depends on the GPM you have. I got the AR roof pump, so I don't use two pressure washers, only to clean concrete. Ekject comes with a chart. I have a commercial building, so they can have their soft opening for business. Cost me $9 for fuel, front and back ramp, less than $10. x can get your SH a little stronger, but you can clean houses just downstreaming. You really don't need a soft wash setup. Make sure you get one to match your machine. Yep. And bam. Bam. Uh, download radius maps to structure job cost for travel. Wasn't sure if anyone else was doing something similar. Um, this is part of what I'm talking about when I talk about customer, the customer, um, how to schedule jobs is this is important thing to do. I agree. I literally saw one of wise guys signs in Buckhead around the corner from where I was doing a detail at Buckhead is money, money, money. Yeah. He made a ton of it up in there. I'm just Saving so I can buy a 10 gallon machine, but I'm gonna have to upgrade my water tank. Why you got a 300 gallon? You don't need more than 300 gallon water tank. You can do a 10 gallon, 10 gallon minute off a 100 gallon water tank. Uh, I have an eight gallon a minute running off a 100 gallon slim tank. Why would you need more than 300 gallon for 10 gallon? Good point, Jason. What is the difference between 1.8 and a 2.1 downstream injector? That is the size of the orifice. I don't know if I have the. That is the size of the orifice in there. And so the 1.8 will actually pull a little bit more than the 2.1 will. Um, so usually the 2.1 is for a four gallon a minute pressure washer. But if you put a, a 1.8 on a four gallon a minute pressure washer, it will actually pull more soap. Now, on a four gallon a minute, it's not, you already pulling quite a bit of soap. On a two gallon a minute, or on a bigger pump, then that's when that can come in. Best way to spend 3,000 on marketing, assuming already have a website, and the city will pull bandit signs. Ooh. I would go AdWords. I would go AdWords, and I would even try TikTok ads. Um, Facebook ads are getting expensive and it's kind of stupid. You can try Facebook ads. Um, and I know TikTok ads are new, but I would maybe give it a try. But honestly, I would probably be AdWords. If you already have a website, and I would be in AdWords. That's probably where I would be at. Especially if the city... Now, if just because the city's pulling signs doesn't mean I don't put them back up. Um, I always put signs out, and by if I put them out on Saturday morning, they were gone by Monday or Tuesday. And guess what? I'd put them out next Saturday or Friday. Um, that's just part of the sign game. Been watching a lot of washing videos past month and just landed on your channel today. I'm loving this live so far. Very helpful, man. Thanks. Yep. You're young. That's probably why you just landed on this one. Yeah, I think that would be. Good gosh, what's the deal with this one here? Um, I use a AR forty five now. I'm an, in an hour. I'm out of water, if not close. Uh, just got a four gallon Simpson. Uh, why was gonna buy an X Jet? Why not X Jet? Um, 
because if you do an X jet, um, first off, they're about 200 bucks and a downstream injector. If you, I would rather you buy an extra hundred feet of hose. So you have 150 feet of hose. So especially if you don't have, um, if you're having to pull the pressure washer around, you can put your chemicals at the street and you don't have to carry a bucket around to carry for that X jet. Um, so it just makes life a lot easier. Oh, why don't you fill up at the house? Uh, I stay close to Atlanta. I'm guessing that can be good business wise. Yeah, Daniel, if you're in, there is a ton of money in the Atlanta area. Um, that's what I was just saying earlier with the wise guys. They, they did 1.47 this past year. Um, and they're planning on doing 2.5 million ne next year. Um, but there's other, you know, there's just a lot of money to be made out there. How about a gun setup? Um, you want a J rod, um, and then the tip size is, uh, uh, Facebook is getting expensive. TikTok. I've known some people that are working TikTok in the service business and they're having good success with it. My goal is 90,000 new in business. Awesome. I don't have a coach. Oh, what that water weight gets stupid heavy quick. I would stick with the three. Yeah. Three gallon, three gallon, three gallons times three, ten, 300 gallons times eight. Plus if you got a hundred gallons of bleach, that's another thousand pounds. So you get heavy quick. Keep putting those signs up. Yep. Thoughts on using a 1.8? Yeah, you can. Surround myself with great success mind people. That is the best thing you can do right there. So imagine using the AR and 10 gallons per minute pressure washer at the same time. I'd be out in 20 minutes. But you'd be able to do really fast if you have two people running them. Um, I'm just trying to get through there. All right. Um... Again, you can go check out Pressure Wash Lifetime. Um, if you go to King of Pressure Wash and you put in the discount code Happy New Year, um, that gives you two free months. Um, I do a Marketing Monday every Monday. I talk about marketing. Tomorrow's Marketing Monday is going to be all about um, budget and how to budget with a CPA. Uh, Megan Heights is who is going to be on there. She owns a successful window cleaning, and she's also a CPA. And she does bookkeeping. That will be there. Next month, Mar Monday marketing is going to be all about Google profile. Um, since they've changed it up some, I'm going to go deep into Google My Business or Google Profiles and talk all about that kind of stuff. And that might actually run into two months. Um, I have I don't know if it's going to be able to. If I'll be able to do it in one month. That might actually be two months um, because because. Um, Google My Business, Google Profile is that important. Um, that It is that important that I make sure you understand your Google My Business, making sure you're getting your 100 photos, making sure that you're trying to go for your reviews. You're doing your Google My Business post. You're doing the things that I need you to do so you can grow your business. And so this is what I'll need you to do to help you grow your business. Again, I grew my business to a million dollars um, doing pressure washing and Christmas lights, and I sold that business. And so that is why I'm teaching you what you need to do. Also, if you haven't looked at, go check out pressurewashhelp.com slash dates, and there you we will be having some Christmas lights and pressure washing classes coming up. My next class is with Bobby Walker. Bobby Walker is going to also help talk about employees, um, how to put, making sure your customer journeys, um, systems are in place, all of that kind of stuff. So day one, I teach you how to pressure wash. You go outside and pressure wash. You actually get to pressure wash. This isn't Jason just saying something and you just watching a video. You actually get to pressure wash. Um, you get to use the surface cleaner. You get to use the water fed pole. And so you learn all of that. Day two, I teach you all about marketing for the first half of the day. And then Bobby Walker is going to get the last half of the day. 
Um, and he will be in the first half of the day a little bit because when I talk about phone scripts, I'm going to let him talk about phone scripts. When I talk about getting your five-star reviews, I'm going to let him talk about five-star reviews. I got 155 star reviews, but he got he's got almost a 700 five star reviews. So obviously he knows how to get better five star reviews than even I do. Now, do I know how to get them? I know how to get them. Do if I had my business right now, would I know what to do to get my five star reviews? Absolutely, I would. And so it's again, it's all about the little things. The little things are very important. So definitely think about that. That class here will be in Orlando, Florida is where that one will be at. Uh, Jason, thanks for the great live. As always, I will be in direct contact in February for Google AdWords. This man is the goat. Where is the pressure washing business located at? Um, that pressure washing, my pressure washing business that I had built and sold was in the Cincinnati area. Um, I did it all Cincinnati and a little bit of Dayton area. Um, so that is that. Again, I'm on here every Sunday night and every Thursday night. Don't know how long that one will go, but I hope I see you all later. Um, again, tomorrow night. Uh, Jason is a great guy if you haven't met him in person. Um, so is Bobby Walker, two giant um, guys, but very cool. Yeah, we both are pretty big guys. Uh, we, we get our things a big, so... Um, but yeah, so hope you all have a great week. Um, I know this week is um, New Year's Eve, uh, so don't drink too much on New Year's Day. New Year's Eve, don't do nothing stupid. Um, go spend time with family this week. I know a lot of people are either off work or they're doing things that they need to do, uh, that side of things. So make sure you're spending time with your family. It's very important to spend time with your family. Um, family is definitely very, very important. So spend time with your family. That's the reason why you're starting this business. That's the reason why you're growing this business. So definitely spend time with your family. Hope you all have a great night and I'll see you all later.